What is going on everyone? Just going to give you a quick update about my surgery situation, my hernia. I found out that next month on the 31st, which is August 2021, is the day of my surgery. And the process is about four to six hours long. And uh, the operation or the surgery is about an hour, an hour and a half. And then they put you in the recovery room until you wake up. You know, every, every patient's different. Not everyone wakes up at the same time. So I was really happy about that. I said, that's pretty cool. And then uh, you got to have a... Um, someone with you so they can drive you home you can't just drive yourself home either that or you have to reschedule because but yeah so I'm a little nervous and scared and all that but I think I'll be alright I hope I'll be alright and uh, so the way it works, you know, depends on you, who your insurance is. But where I live in uh, Washington, you have to have, uh, there's a, all the hospitals are pretty much Kaiser or the insurance that I have. So I guess they send you to the hospital and then that's where they do the surgery. And it's about, yeah, so. Not that bad. I was going to stop here at the Salvation Army and drop some food off. But I don't know if you can. Oh. That's one thing is like when you have food and it's very hard to find a place, you know, they always have steps you got to do. You got to call in advance and then, you know, you have to set up a time and all this. Back then, you just drop it off and that's it, you know. It's different. It's in today's society, very different than back then, back when I was a kid. Everything, everything, they got rules and regulations now. It's like, you know, so. It's even hard to find a place. Sometimes you just feel like just throwing it away. It's a lot easier just putting it somewhere rather than find a place, to, you know, to give food, you know what I mean? And then people complain, you know, well, you know, this and that, and how come they didn't do this? Because you can't even find a place. Anyways, yeah, sometimes it gets me upset. Like, I'm just... Bad enough I have to get the surgery, you know, and all this. And I'm getting old and all that. Older, you know, and you have to take care of yourself better. If you don't, you pretty much perish. But, you know, I was just saying... <clears throat> Like uh, about the uh, about the surgery, you know that you have to um, before you do the surgery, you have to see your your doctor or the doctor they 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 send you to to do like a, a physical, you know, and make sure you're healthy and all that before they do the surgery because it's not like it's not an emergency, you know, situation. 
Sometimes I feel like it's an emergency, you know? And then before you go and have your surgery done, like after you do the, the physical from your doctor or wherever they send you, then a nurse calls you like the day before the surgery to tell you what time you have to go in, check in and, and all that other stuff. And then you do the surgery. Oh yeah, but you have to you have to do you have to get a COVID nineteen test three days before your surgery. So it's not like you just go and do the, have the surgery done, you know what I mean? Which is, you know, I guess, I don't know, I guess it's understandable, you know? Oh, that's how it works. And then my shoulder, and then my shoulder still banged up. Boy, but just even the thought of having surgery is, sucks. But in order for you to feel better, you have to have it. You know, it's not like uh, you have a choice. I mean, because you don't you don't feel the same normal like do your daily activities and stuff like that and then I think I was going to do I was going to do something today I was actually going to um, check out the other half of that that screw that closed down now I got stuck running around washing the rags for work and stuff like that and, and right now it's almost like one o'clock so excuse me that was change of plans You know, sometimes I wish I, w I had a lot of money. I wish I had I was secure, you know, and had money so I can retire. I don't like to work anymore. <laughs> Even though I work for myself, you know, still, it's not enough, you know. Taxes, you, they tax you to death. You know, sometimes it's better to have a, a family and kids so you don't have to pay pay less in taxes and you get money back. If you're a single person, you know, that never got married or kids or anything like that, your taxes are way up the roof. So basically every year you have to pay taxes. And then they wonder why, you know, small businesses go under, you know. Like people don't understand, you know, like you work for yourself, you're an independent contractor. It's very hard to to make it, you know. It's very hard to uh, hire employees for them to come work for you because taxes are so high, you know. It's like if you didn't come from a family that had money or had a business, chances of you succeeding in owning a business is very slim. So, you know, because you're paying out of pocket. You're paying taxes all the time. You never have any money for yourself, in other words. So don't believe all that stuff you hear on TV, you know, oh, you know, you pay people more money, they want to stay and work. That's probably true for big businesses, but for small people like myself, hell, you don't even make, you know, money to survive. Or like if another thing too, like if you had a, if you had a family that you're staying with or people you're staying with and you didn't have to pay rent, then for you to be successful and own a small business is a lot better for you to succeed than if you don't have that support, you know what I mean? 
if you're just doing the opening a business, you know, because you're thinking it's real easy and you're gonna make a lot of money, you know, you have to figure you have to pay, you know, for your food, you know, you gotta pay for housing, or if you're paying for rent, you know, and then you have to pay for the vehicle, so it's, uh, it's a lot of challenges, you know, owning a business. But if you live with someone and you didn't have to pay rent, you know, and you own, open a business, you can be very successful and make a lot of money. But it's not that easy. Like you always hear these people say, you know, you this guy makes a lot of money, this and that. Which is not true, you know, it's not true. Anyways, yeah, so, you know, owning, owning a business sometimes is, is not worth it, you know. Like what I said, I said, I wish I had, um, I wish I was retired. I didn't have to work. Like, my real dad, he didn't leave me nothing. He just left when I was, like, five or six. So, my mom was the only one raising us, you know. She had a hard time because we had, she had five. She had five kids all together. <clears throat> and I grew up in this city, you know, I had a, I didn't have a, um, it was rough where I grew up. I didn't grow up in a, in a nice neighborhood, you know, a nice house and all that. So, it, and, and you have to have good education, you know, if you have the better education, you know, the, the better you are to succeed this crazy world we live in it's very tough you know if you didn't have that you know it's you're very very hard to make it but anyway so yeah so I'm getting off track here but you know it's, I'm just hoping everything goes smooth and well you know and the surgery is good and I make it out in one piece, man. I wake up and I thank the Lord, you know, that I made it. And I'm the kind of person that gets real nervous, like, before the surgery, you know, like, because uh, you always think of, I, in myself, I always think of something bad is going to happen. And, and I train myself not to think that way. I say, you know what, everything's going to be all right, you know. Then what's the worst thing that could happen, right? Because you ain't gonna know anyways, you're gonna be asleep. You know, the worst thing that could happen is something they screw up and then you end up you end up in heaven. It's like a flash. Or the what's the best thing that can happen? Everything turns out well, you wake up, everything's smooth, you back to yourself, and, and you carry on. I think I've always been like that. My whole life, I've always been that kind of a person. I, I worry a lot about things that haven't happened yet, you know. I've always been like that. And it's very rough. But, just thought I'd share that with you, you know. It's like, you know, you see me driving in this nice truck. And live in, and I live in a travel trailer, passport. 2021 and I rent a spot you know I used to live in a house but I gave that up it's actually renting a house I've never owned a house before you know it's like my parents were different you know my dad left so I wish I would have known the things that I know now you know but, yeah, so that's how it is. That's how life works. And then you get old, you know. And you get lost. <laughs> but ah, it's the summertime, and I'm hoping for the best. This summer, the best. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that, and I better get going, because... Knowing me, I, I go off sometimes off the wall. I 
gonna drop this food off, head out, head home, and, and I might have a barbecue or something. I'll talk to you later.